Your first ever impression of Doom has you been greeted with its iconic difficulty menu. From the mockingly titled I'm Too Young To Die, to the appropriately named Nightmare difficulty, which is so tough that when selected it questions you with, are you sure? This skill level isn't even remotely fair. This warning isn't a joke. Be prepared to do some note taking just to get through on this difficulty on the more complicated levels. This style of creatively named difficulties by id Software was also present in Wolfenstein 3D, which came prior to Doom. It also had plenty of sass with the easiest difficulty being named, Can I Play Daddy? Many other FES games in this era had creative naming schemes for difficulties too, such as Heretic, Hexen, Rise of the Triad, Junior in 3D, Shadow Warrior, you are tiny and Blood, to name quite a few. Some of the more recent additions to each of their series keep this trend alive as a sort of throwback, such as in Doom 2016, Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, and the 2013 remake of Rise of the Triad. The five skill levels in Doom are very iconic and creative, but unfortunately not very descriptive. While there appear to be five skill levels, there are actually only three true skill levels when it comes to enemy and item placement. I'm too young to die and hey not to rough being easy, help me plenty being medium, and ultra violence and nightmare being hard. Each object has a flag to decide whether it spawns in or not on each of the three true skill levels. Going through each difficulty, you'll find there will be different or missing monsters in each level. Typically, Going from easy to medium will double the number of enemies you'll encounter. And hard triples it. There are some specific examples of the different object placement between each difficulty. E1M3 has two lights that are there on easy and medium, but not on hard to make it more troublesome for you to find your way out. Mapo 6 has a spider mask spine that becomes four hell knights when going from hard to medium, and becomes just a single hell knight on easy. Map 25 has a secret with a BFG in it, unless you're playing on hard, then it's completely empty. On E1M8, thankfully, you'll always encounter both Bruiser Brothers no matter what difficulty is selected, but on hard, the room you'll fight them in is filled with spectres. So let's go back to look at the easy, medium and hard difficulties from earlier. Being both the easy difficulty, the enemy and item placement in I'm Too Young To Die and Hey Not To Rough are identical, but there are differences elsewhere. On I'm Too Young To Die, you'll receive half the normal damage from monsters and damaging floors. This can greatly help with dealing with the enemies that can dish out a ton of damage at once. Another thing to help the player along on this difficulty, ammo pickups give double their normal amount. Ultraviolence and Nightmare may share the same enemy and item placement, but saying Nightmare is more difficult than Ultraviolence is a complete understatement. To make Nightmare as ridiculous as it is, it disables cheats, so IDDQD isn't there to get you through on this difficulty. There are exceptions as thankfully you can still level select with IDC Lev, so you never have to play Map 21 again. Nightmare also has what's referred to as fast monsters, which makes enemies extremely aggressive, attacking immediately on sight, acting like turrets more than anything, and has enemy projectiles moving up to 50% faster. To top it all off, enemies will respawn after they have been killed. This creates a strategy where, to keep an area safe for the way back, just damaging the monsters enough to keep their health low is much more useful than always going in for the kill to avoid having to deal with them at full health after they have respawned. The only nice thing Nightmare does for the player is that they will receive double ammo just to make sure that they will have enough to deal with all the respawning enemies. Fast monsters can be enabled on any difficulty through using the fast parameter when launching the game. It's useful for bridging the enormous difficulty gap between Ultraviolence and Nightmare. Playing Ultraviolence with fast monsters enabled is a fairly popular way to play and even has its own speedrunning categories called UV Fast which is based off UV Max. UV Max is exiting the level with the maximum amount of kills and secrets in Ultraviolence. 
UV Fast is the same as UV Max but with the fast parameter enabled. NM100S is exiting the level with 100% secrets on Nightmare. This is as close to an NMAX category as possible, since going for 100% kills is irrelevant with all the spawning enemies. Playing on Nightmare often results in going over 100% kills anyway. With this brief explanation of the difficulties in Doom, you can now know what to expect when picking a difficulty. Perhaps you've been playing Doom for years or even decades and now find Ultraviolence a bit too easy. Turn up the challenge and keep the game fresh by giving fast monsters a shot. If you're up for the ultimate challenge, try Nightmare. Speaking of Nightmare, I have completed an NM100S Pistol Start playthrough of every level in Doom 2. You can watch it here on this channel. That's all for now and thanks for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more analysis videos like these and for gameplay videos of mostly classic FPS games. See you later.